think from a from a young age, I grew up in a community that uh, I think is you know a beautiful microcosm for for what's happening in the United States right now. There's a lot of uh, income disparity, wealth disparity. Uh, we certainly had issues. There's an agricultural community in Northern California. It's actually the Napa Valley, which is you know, known for wine, known for, for wealth. And at the same time, there were people who were suffering. And uh, my mom was involved in the community. She started a community center, which used to upset me because she spent so much time there. And I was like, come on, you're my mom, you're supposed to be with me. But I, th I think it set the example because I had a lot of friends I grew up with who didn't have the same opportunities that I had. And I don't say that out of like liberal guilt, you know. It, it's not, it just felt wrong that in an area with, with uh, people who had so much, there, there are so many who had so few and were working hard and, and the entire community was built around that labor. And, and then as, as I read more, as I got into you know, Paul Goodman, as I got into Zinn, as I started trying to learn as much as I could and just being influenced by other people's voices, you know, I, I realized that I could do something. I don't know what that is. I certainly have a, uh, a platform now with social media and I feel kind of honor bound to give attention to things I care about. Uh, especially yeah. for people who don't have a voice. And, and particularly since we're talking about voting tonight, yeah. I mean, there, I just want as many people to be involved and to vote and to express their political will in this country. Yeah, Absolutely.